Now we'll see one problem. It has contained some parts. See the question. Estimate the average drift speed. We are going to find out the drift velocity of the electron. But what are the conditions to find out of conduction electrons in a copper wire of cross-sectional area 1 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter square. That means in answer, first of all, we should write the contents. Area is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter square which carries a current of 1.5 amperes I is equal to 1.5 amperes assume that each copper contribute one conduction electron the density of copper is 9 into 10 to the power of 3 kg per meter cube and its atomic mass is 63.5 units here what is the density of copper 9 into 10 to the power of 3 kg per meter cube its atomic mass is 63.5 units now we should find out number of copper atoms per one cubic meter number of copper atoms per one cubic meter therefore n is equal to n is equal to 6.0 into 10 to the power of 23 because in 63.5 grams these many number of atoms will be there that is nothing but the Avogadro number whole divided by 63.5 into and I am converting the density also into grams nothing but 9 into 10 to the power of 6 the answer is 8.5 into 10 to the power of 28 per meter cube per 1 cubic meter these many atoms are present in copper. Now we are going to use this value to find out the drift speed of the electrons. Now drift speed is equal to Vd is equal to I by NEA. Please see what is I? 1.5 N 8.5 into 10 to the power of 28 E charge of each electron 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. A what is the cross sectional area 1 into 10 to the power of minus 7 meter square. So if we calculated these things we will get the answer like this 1.5 into see here 10 power 28 10 power minus 19 10 power minus 7 it is 10 square it goes up 10 power minus 2 by 8.5 into 1.6 if we calculate all these things we will get 1.1 millimeters per second otherwise 1.1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters second because this is the drift speed of electrons under the influence of this many cross sectional area and the electric field of 1.5 amperes. Now, the next concept is mobility. The symbol of the mobility is mu. What is the meaning of mobility? Mobility in terms it is seems to be the velocity or how much velocity it will acquire for the unit application of the electric field. So, mu is defined as in previously we have discussed about the drift speed nothing but the drift velocity how much drift velocity will be acquired by an electron for the application of unit electric field the drift velocity acquired by an electron on the application of unit electric field is called mobility the drift velocity acquired by the electrons per unit electric field so we can write mu is equal to vd by e We know that Vd is equal to Ee tau by 
m is equal to v therefore mu is equal to we can write e e tau by m whole divided by e therefore mu is equal to e e tau by m this 1 by e goes up it will become 1 by e e and e get cancelled therefore mu is equal to e tau by m we have discussed about j value we have discussed about sigma value we have discussed about the resistivity conductivity value next mu is equal to et by e tau by m next we will see what are the units of this mobility now we are going to see the units of mu what is the si unit of mu meter square per volt second or we can write meter square volt power minus 1 s power minus 1 if you want to write an order of this mu order of mu is is equal to 10 to the power of 4 centimeter square v power minus 1 s power minus 1 what is the tau in the expression mu is equal to tau is there this tau is average time taken for one collision of an electron average collision time of electron this is tau this tau has come in many equations in sigma it has come in rho it has come in mu it has come in j also it has come now we will see the limitations of ohm's law we know that ohm's law is equal to v is equal to ir where r is equal to resistance i is equal to current v is equal to voltage this ohm's law is not valid for all materials only few materials obeys the ohm's law few not the materials which obeys the, are the conductors which obey the ohm's law are called ohmic conductors ohmic conductors what is the meaning of ohmic conductors the conductors which obey the Ohm's law obeying means V always proportional to I if this is not possible then we cannot say these are ohmic conductors but some conductors which doesn't obey the Ohm's law means in those conductors V is not proportional to I and V by I ratio won't be constant throughout the operation of the electricity those conductors are called as non ohmic conductors non ohmic exactly opposite to the ohmic conductors non ohmic means the conductors which doesn't obey the ohms law If any conductor or any material obeys the Ohm's law, its V by I graph is like this. Always a straight line passes through the origin. The slope of this V I graph at any given points will give the resistance for that given voltage and given current. We can say it as V1 v2 and v3 i1 i2 i3 slope of the graph gives the resistance of the material for the given voltage and corresponding current
If the graph is not like that, we can say it is not obeying the Ohm's law. Which materials are called as non ohm conductors? What are the examples? And what will be the nature of the graphs in those cases? We are going to watch that. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.